Malawi is also suffering from a growing electricity deficit. According to the World Bank, electricity rationing losses Malawi uh, up to loses, loses Malawi up to 7% of its GDP a year. This is more than any other country in Africa. In comparison, Kenya, Niger, Madagascar and Benin all lose under 2%. We we'll bring you the story of one self-taught electrician who's keeping the lights on in his village in Malawi with just an old bike and a farm motto. So Yutian's Astatal has the details. Fifteen years ago, when darkness used to fall in Yobe Nkosi, a remote village in northern Malawi, children did their homework by candlelight. In the past, we had to study by candlelight, and whenever there was no money to buy candles, we could not study. That began to change in 2006, when Colrad Nkosi finished secondary school in Zimba, some 40 kilometers away, and returned home. He was 23 years old at the time and had no prior training. Kosi discovered that a creek running through his childhood home had just enough force to propel his bicycle forward. He devised an improvised dynamo to provide power to his residents. There is potential to produce enough power for 1,000 households from that single turbine, and I can use the same river to power another turbine downstream. With no prior experience, Kosi converted an old refrigerator compressor into a water power turbine and installed it into a local river, generating enough electricity for six families. The village is now fed by a large turbine which was made from the motor of a decommissioned maize sheller, a machine that removes corn kennels from the cob. The device has been installed on the fringes of the community. Metal wires are strung from a two-kilometer line of tree trunks caped with wooden planks to provide power. The consumers do not pay a cost for the electricity, but they do pay Kosi a monthly maintenance fee of slightly more than one dollar per home. For the 38-year-old, however, the maintenance income is insufficient to meet the cost of repairs, which at times he says he pays out of his own pocket. I wish I could find a sponsor to help me fulfill my plan of going back to school to further my knowledge and pass on what I have learned to others. Meanwhile, back at the village, students file into a classroom for a nighttime study session as dusk falls over Kazangazi Primary School. And it's all thanks to Nokosi. Astatal, CGTN.